New at six storage units smashed into by a semi truck and deputies say this all started with a robbery counties away. Ken's five reporter Simone Simpson tells us about the crime spree and spoke to one woman who lost everything in the crash. The pursuit began in Junction, where Kimball County officials alerted law enforcement of a stolen semi. The pursuit ended more than 80 miles away at a lockaway storage facility on the north side of Bernie. The Kirk County Sheriff's Office, uh, Kendall County Sheriff's Office, and the Texas Department of Public Safety, the Highway Patrol, all working together, uh, got the guy stopped. The semi-truck pursuit began just after 11 a.m. Sunday morning. The Kerr County Sheriff's Office got a call from Kimball County Sheriff's Office about an aggravated robbery in Junction. Some of our patrol deputies went out on the interstate and about the 513 mile marker they encountered the, 18, the stolen 18-wheeler. Uh, they attempted to make a traffic stop, obviously didn't stop. That's when deputies say the driver, Eric Lee Hudson, pulled over acting like he was going to stop, but kept going with a cash drawer holding $1,700 he allegedly stole. He was uh, spiked three different times, uh, which caused him to lose control eventually is when he ran into the storage units. That semi colliding with several units of the Lockaway storage facility in Bernie. These are images showing the mess left behind. My unit was the first unit that the tractor trailer hit as well. Michaela Taylor's musical instruments, yearbooks and furniture passed down generation to generation gone. My entire childhood was in that storage unit. Taylor is grateful no one was injured. It looks like our law enforcement did a great job by getting somebody that com allegedly committed an armed robbery off the streets. The alleged driver, Eric Lee Hudson, was booked into the Kerr County Jail on one count of evading arrest with a vehicle and one count of theft. His bond has been set at $70,000. Reporting from Kerr County, Simone Simpson, Ken's Five.